Welcome to our solar electric trailer journey. Today we're going to talk about our charge controller and what we had to do to change it. We want to give thanks to our YouTube follower who goes by the handle of Creepy Charlie for his help. Yeah, we he recently saw our uh, unboxing video that we did last May when we got all of the solar gear and we're planning to put it in our trailer and he identified the problem very specifically uh, that we hadn't quite figured out. Um, the solar panels uh, are designed for a 12 volt system and so we were thinking that they would produce about 12 volts. It turns out you have to have uh, more than that. So uh, he identified the the problem. We, we, we just wish he'd seen it sooner. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Our old charge controller refused to work in the best of weather conditions so we knew we had to do something about that. Yeah, we couldn't quite figure out what the problem was but when it was most sunny, uh, the charge controller would just shut down. That I, I was thinking when we bought the solar panels that they would produce about 12 volts of power. In fact, they're designed to produce about 17. Uh, for reasons I don't understand, you have to produce more voltage than uh, on the solar panels than you put, than your battery uses. So the battery is a 12 volt battery, so you have to have five volts more, so that's 17. So it's designed to produce 17, but that's really a floor. It varies mm. above that and sometimes it goes above 20 volts. And uh, the charge controller that we had, this is the old charge controller, it's designed for 100 volts and 20 amps. Um, so that's like uh, two kilowatts of power and we had just 500 watts so a quarter of the theoretical capacity so we were thinking we would be safe but what was going on was that uh, on the sunniest days uh, and times the charge uh, the the solar panels would produce more than 20 volts per panel giving us more than a hundred volts which was more than the charge controller could handle and so when that happened, it would just shut down. And, and so no power would go through the charge controller into the battery. Now I'm gonna read this because I wanna get it correct because we purchased a new one. We purchased a bigger Victron Energy charge controller to put in. Yeah, so it's, it's just a bigger version of, of this Victron Energy charge controller that we had. Um, the, the, the problem is, and it's not a huge problem, but the the, the new one is not a little bit bigger than this. It's quite a bit. It's not huge, but this one is about three inches by four inches, and the new one's about six by eight inches. So it's it's almost four times as large. Again, not a, not a huge device, but it's it didn't come close to fitting where we had configured this. And our our um, setup wasn't quite Instagram worthy before, but now. Boy, it's, it's really suboptimal because now we had to string wires, you know, kind of across other things. It's really not attractive, but we, we got it. We found a place for the charge controller, got new wires, ran the wires and got it all connected in. And so now it works. Yay. So we wanted to get this new charge controller in as part of our preparation for Hurricane Ian because we weren't sure if we would lose house power we wanted to make sure we had the, the, the trailer powered up. Yeah, uh, you know, this was our first hurricane being near yeah. Florida, and so we weren't quite sure what to expect, and so we were trying to take every reasonable precaution. So uh, with the hurricane sort of barreling down on us, uh, we stayed up late one night getting this all installed, and boy, it was, it was a pain, especially working against that deadline, but uh, we're really glad we did it, you know, because now it works. And of course, in the end, the <laughs> hurricane sort of went yeah. around us. We were unscathed and, and uh, I've had the opportunity to go volunteer yep. helping some of those who were scathed but, by the uh, hurricane. But we will be ready for the next hurricane when that, whenever that'll be. We do want to hear from you. Please share your RV solar experiences. We'd love to hear your stories. Yeah, we hope we're not the only ones that yeah, are doing this wrong yeah, sometimes. We, we want to know somebody else is out there doing this and we can help each other. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Bye. When we heard our Rivian wouldn't be delivered until Christmas of 2023, we decided to see what we could tow with our Chevy Bolt. Launching our solar electric trailer journey. We have a lot to learn and we're sharing what we discover along the way. 
We've added solar panels to our A-Liner Scout pop-up trailer, preparing us for doing the same on a bigger trailer when the Rivian arrives. Join us by subscribing now.